William Cecil was born in Bourne, Lincolnshire, England, on September 13, 1520, on the family estate of Burley, near Stamford. William's father was Richard Cecil, owner of the Burley estate, and his mother was Jane Heckington. He was the only son born to Richard and Jane, who also had three daughters. He would go on to marry Mary Check, the sister to a friend, John Check. They had one son, Thomas. Mary died in February of 1543. In December of 1546, William would again marry, this time to a very well-educated woman, Mildred Cook. Together they had six children. Thomas, the eldest would become the future Earl of Exeter, and the fourth son, Robert, would succeed his father and become the next Lord Burley. Educated as befitting his station, William Cecil was sent first to the King's School, in Grantham. From there he would attend Stamford School. After Stamford, at the age of 14 years, he would matriculate to St. John's College, at Cambridge. It was at St. John's College, that he would come into contact with some of the most intellectual minds of the day, and also meet his future wife. He gained an unusual knowledge of Greek, from Roger Ascham, and John Cech. In an attempt to separate him from Mary, his father had him withdrawn from St. John's College and sent to Gray's Inn. William's early career would begin by assisting the Duke of Somerset, the brother to the late Queen, Jane Seymour, who would also become Lord Protector to the young Edward VI, his nephew. It is recorded that William sat at Parliament from 1547, but in fact according to his own handwritten notes, he actually sat from 1543. Having been appointed by the Duke of Northumberland to administer the lands of Princess Elizabeth, Cecil very early on came into Elizabeth's life, and would continue to advise her for many years. He would ultimately prove his worth, in areas of making and seeing through difficult decisions, and following those decisions with actions, as in the case of his intervention in Scotland between 1559 and 1560, showing he could strike hard when necessary, and in the instance of securing the execution of Mary, Queen of Scots, from which Elizabeth had balked. William Cecil, First Lord Burley, would ultimately become most famous for the length of time he served his queen, faithfully, and without hesitation. From her early years as a young princess, until his death in 1598, only a few short years before the queen herself died. As an English statesman, he was Queen Elizabeth's chief adviser, he twice served as Secretary of State from 1550 to 1553, and from 1558 to 1572. He would also hold the position of Lord High Treasurer until his death. William Cecil held some of the highest positions in the land, and was trusted implicitly by Queen Elizabeth I, right up until he died. It is believed he died either from a heart attack or a stroke, he collapsed and died at his London home, Cecil House, on August 4, 1598. His body was laid to rest at St. Martin's Church, in Stamford where a tomb befitting his service to Queen and country can be seen.